Leaf Below Revolution, the game where everything has to do with leaves in some way, that being items or leaves themselves. Now, this game can be quite confusing, leave you in a state of confusion and unware, unsure where to go in some point or another. Hopefully, these guides that I'll be covering from the start of the game to all the way up to the latest update and content for this game will help you out a lot. I will be updating these guides when updates come out. Currently, the patch I am playing on is 2.13. Now, let's get started with the basic icons of this game. We'll start with the top left. There's a lot of icons in the top left, mostly because I am late in this game, but the ones you'll only be needing to focus on are the gem shop, achievements, and the stats page. Now, uh, going through all of these pages, the gem shop, as you can see here, has all different types of gems. These gems, are, these gem upgrades are permanent and usually have really good upgrades. Now, to get gems, you either complete achievements, as here, collecting all the different types of leaves, and playtime, and doing other achievement stuff. You'll get all, gain gems with these. Another way to get gems is by logging in every day. You'll get a small bonus of gems every day. With the stats page, the stats page uh, sees how much you've collected and every, all relative stats to do with how much leaves you've collected and so on. Now, collecting your first leaf. You control this little guy in the center and all you have to do to collect your first leaf is get a leaf and blow it off the edge of the map. As we can see here, I blow a couple leaves off. Congratulations, you have blown off your first leaf. With these leaves, you're able to see how many leaves you have in this right column here. Ignore all the other leaves and icons here. The only one we're needing to focus on is this basic leaf that I'm hovering over now. With those leaves, you can go into the, gem sh uh, the leaf shop down here, which I'll be going into now. This is the basic leaf shop. With this shop, you can upgrade the number of, number of trees on the screen, which increases the amount of leaves spawn per cycle. Fertilizer, which means the cycle happens 1% faster per upgrade. Leaf marketing. Leaf marketing adds plus one to the amount of leaves you get per blowing them off. Now, auto leaf blower is a great way to early AFK leaves and it has an, uh, a leaf blower automatically, like a Roomba, going around the screen, bumping the leaves off the map. Nuclear fuel. Nuclear fuel increases the blowing power of the tool or equipment that you are using to blow the leaves off. So increasing the nuclear fuel or blowing power increases the amount of push force on those leaves, increasing the amount of leaves you'll be able to push off at one time. After you've collected leaves, a couple leaves, my first recommendation on upgrades is the tree upgrade and the fertilizer upgrade. These will help you get uh, more leaves early on and can be really helpful. After you've got about a couple upgrades in here, about 10, 15 each upgrades, you'll want to save up for leaf marketing. This will essentially double the amount of leaves you can get, doubling your progression. After about a couple minutes, five minutes of farming, you also get tools. With these tools, it will increase your blowing power and the range that you can blow things off. This, this is in combination with nuclear fuel, so it is always a nice upgrade to have. As you get along, you keep going all the way up to a small rake, large rake, and leaf rake. And finally, the leaf blower. The leaf blower is the best tool you'll be able to get with the basic leaves. If we go back to the basic leaf shop, you can see at the top, there is a thing called gold leaves. Once you have 1,000 normal leaves, you'll be able to unlock this shop. When you do unlock this shop, you'll unlock gold leaves. These gold leaves will rarely spawn in, this, in the area you are currently in, and they take a little bit more blowing power to push off and you'll noticeably see the difference in the speed of blowing off them between your basic leaves and gold leaves. Now, with these gold leaves, 
you will be essentially do the same thing with the basic leaves. You'll get trees, upgrade to trees, and gold fertilizer, which basically gold leaves have a higher chance of spawning compared to basic leaves. You'll want to upgrade these leaves as much as you can, and then golden, mar golden marketing when you can, which as the same as the basic leaves, increases the amount of leaves you get per plus one for that type. In this case, you'll get plus one gold leaves. Now, if we scroll down, we'll see some different type of upgrades here. We'll have leaf combo, leaf combo duration, combo multiplier, and max combo. What do these essentially do is if you unlock it, if you have a look at the top of my screen, you have your combo amount and then the multiplication of leaves. So essentially what this does is the combo amount, which is how many leaves you've got off the screen and essentially building up that combo. Now with that combo it correlates with the X amount of times that you get. So if you have two times in that bonus here, you essentially get two times the amount of leaves when you blow it off. So if you get two golden leaves per leaf when you blow it off, you'll now get four. If you get times 10, that will be 20. To increase that, if we go back to the golden shop, we have the leaf combo, which is your unlock it, the max combo, which is the max amount of combo you can have, the combo multiplier, which is increasing your multiplier by 50% per level, and increasing combo duration. This upgrade uh, uh, decreases the uh, drain rate of your combo multiplier, essentially having your combo up longer each upgrade. Once you progress and get enough gold leaves, you'll be able to get more tools, including the advanced leaf blower, nuclear leaf blower, which is very handy. You'll also get the shovel and you also get the large trout. The shovel and the large trout are relevant at this point in progression. So equip the best you can get, which will be the nuclear leaf blower. After you have the nuclear leaf blower and you've saved up a thousand leaves or 300, depending on if you want to go to platinum leaves, which we can't right now. So the only thing left is this leaf portal. Once we have unlocked this leaf portal and we go to the menu for the leaf portal, which is a prestige, you'll be greeted by this screen. This screen uh, will give you coins. These coins will be used in the prestige shop once you prestige. To gain prestige coins, you just have to get more and more leaves blown off. The more leaves you have off the screen and piled in your storage, the higher this number will be. Now, after you prestige, we'll be in the next video going from prestige to science, uh, which is going to be the next video and progression. So I hope you liked this guide. If you have any questions, leave a comment and make sure you subscribe.